General in Washington, D.C. is happening later this morning. And uh, last night, there's a tribute from fellow lawmakers. Our Devin Skillian is in the nation's capital with his story. Well, good morning from the nation's capital, where in just a few hours now, Washington will get its turn to bid farewell to John Dingell because of the causes for which he fought over the years, civil rights, clean water, clean air. He was a lion in the national sense, but first and foremost, of course, he was a Michigander, and that was certainly felt most acutely last night by those who now represent the mitten. I thank the gentleman from Flint. While all from the same state, Michigan's legislators are not a monolith. Seven Republicans, seven Democrats, nine men, five women. They can unite over a number of things, and Wednesday night on the House floor, that included their deep admiration for John Dingell. I took it as a personal privilege to have been able to serve with him. So as I said, this is a tremendous loss for our country. It's a tremendous loss for me personally. Our hearts go out to, to Debbie. The theme has been developing, that while John Dingell may have been the exemplary member of Congress, he was so very singular. Not the last of the Mohicans, but maybe one of the few we've ever had at all. He was a gentleman to the very end. He knew the rules, he had the respect from both sides of the aisle. He was a guy that we will never see replaced here in this house. I don't believe his dedicated service to this country will ever be met again. The Michigan freshman class is big this year. Four new faces, all already steeped in Dingle respect. Even though we had different styles and different approaches to various issues, he never reduced or tried to silence uh, my voice. But it is so far beyond Michigan. John Lewis of Georgia told me he wanted to thank Michigan voters for choosing the man who was right for the rest of the country, too. This one human being stood up when it was hard and difficult for many people to stand up, to be brave, to be bold, to be courageous. You know, I talked last night with Congresswoman Debbie Dingell. This has been really difficult for her, as you might well imagine, not only physically taxing, but certainly the emotional toll that it's taken. Uh, but she still has a ways to go. She's got the funeral coming up today at Holy Trinity Catholic Church, and then it's tomorrow that John Dingell will be laid to rest here at Arlington National Cemetery. Much more coming up later today on Local 4 News in Washington. Devin Skillian, Local 4 News Today.